Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about call by value and call by reference. And to understand that, we have to understand primitive data types and non primitive data types. So if you have not watched my video on data types in JavaScript, please go and watch that out first. All right, so primitive data types are copied by value and non primitive data types are copied by reference okay something like this so let's imagine this is an object and hence a non primitive data types okay so essentially what we do is so this is our object value and this is the address so whenever we create a variable what we do is we store the reference of this object so let's imagine this is the reference so we are going to store that in the symbol name employee one and employee two all right but in case of primitive data types so this is the value all right and the value is assigned to a okay now the address of this same way this is another variable so if you assign if you do let's say let a is equal to 10 and then you do let b is equal to a so what you are doing is you are taking a copy of a and assigning it to b okay so then if you change the value of a to 20 now so what will happen is there is no reference in here since in the data type video i mentioned that primitive data types are immutable so this will still stay in the memory however this a will now now start pointing to value 20 okay so now let's see that into action so i have opened my visual studio code and the first thing that we are going to do is call by value for primitive data types so let a is equal to 10 let b is equal to a so we are assigning a to b and then we are changing the value of a to 20. so what would happen since this follows the copy by value so let's check that out so the value of a is 20 because it is updated but the value of b stays as 10 okay so this is call by value for primitive data types right okay so now let's check that out in case of non-primitive data type like an object so this is my object let employ one and it has got two properties name and age so what i'm doing is i've created another object and i'm going to assign employee one to employee two now i'm changing the name from john doe to qa box all right so this property is being updated and then we are log logging both the objects to the console so if we do so so what would we see now so the name is changed for both employee one and employee two this proves that in primitive data types things are copied based on values but in case of non-primitive data types things are copied based on reference let's take a look at more complex example so what we are going to do is we are going to use functions and we are now checking first for call by value so here what we have done is we have created a variable let num is equal to 100 and created a function in which we are going to increment whatever parameter that we are going to pass into this and then we are invoking the function and we are passing this number to this function so what do you think what is going to happen to this once the function is executed let's see that so if we do so the number is still 100 since a copy of num is provided to this function okay therefore it remains 100 even after this function is executed let's check that out in case of functions okay in case um, uh, sorry in case of objects so I've created an object car 
which has got only one property name is equal to fiat and I've created a function new name so this is going to change the name of the car object <coughs> so what we are doing is we are passing the car object as the parameter and in the body we are changing the name of the car object whatever ob car object we are providing to BMW okay so I'm going to log the car object first then I'm going to invoke this function and I'm going to log the object again to see if the name is updated or not so now you see that before this function is invoked the value was fiat and after the function is invoked the value is BMW so in nutshell primitive data types are copied by value and non primitive data types are copied by reference that's about copy by value and copy by reference or you can call by value and call by reference thank you so much